talk to us a little bit about Yerusi Holdings right now. What do you guys see moving forward for Yerusi Holdings? We're still very active in the uh, value add multifamily space. We actually disposed of about five assets last year. We did have five acquisitions. Uh, one of those acquisitions was actually a motel here that we're converting into a short-term rental space. Typically, we're taking on multifamily value add. That's really our core focus and our core competency. Just, just following the path of progress, following where people are moving, where the jobs are going, the job diversity, population growth, where there's supply constraints on housing. That continues to allow us to have the runway to find good properties that have the ability to continue to adapt to the growing culture that we're seeing today. We have now looked at the avenue, looking into development space. So we're under contract on a development here in the same town for a 72 townhome. So we're looking at that option just based on, of course, cost to build versus cost of acquisition and what you get for a built product compared to that cost of acquisition of a BC asset that has some years on it.